Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and this is my Jeremiah Koo video. Um, he has just been revealed on Warhammer Community. You can see the model there. It's interesting, it's an interesting paint job isn't it with the uh, that front foot. I'm, I'm not sure about that but uh, it's kind of cool. I'm not a fan of bare feet in general to be honest. I think it worked with like trolls you know and uh, and minotaurs and stuff but uh, I'm not, I'm not, you know, like, come on, someone could just stand on your toes. That seems, that seems crazy. I, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of that, but I think it looks cool. I think it looks pretty cool, all the armor and that. And, uh, you know, not sure about his face, the chin and whatever, you know, rem reminds me a bit of Jordel Fresh Breeze that looked a bit, uh, looked a bit goofy, but I think the armor looks great. And, uh, yeah, there's an article here. The greatest of all time, Jeremiah Cool. Interesting, isn't it? They talk about the goat, you know, and like now people don't think of him as the goat anymore. Which is a bit like he was he was named after of of course Joe Cool, Joe Montana, who was the greatest of all time at the time of Blood Bowl was made originally. Um and now, of course, he's been overtaken by Tom Brady and most people's uh, minds as the greatest of all time when it comes to American football. And though, though here they say that now it's taken by Jordell Freshbreeze, um, which is, you know, a little bit different with the air. Uh, Jordell and stuff is like Michael Jordan. But, uh, yeah, interesting. We've got some art here. Oh, anyway, so the, the fluff there, sorry. Rumours are he's been returning to the pitch as a star player for hire. So there you go. Um, basically... He invented dump off, <laughs> and therefore I guess the runner position. Though that's a bit weird because they had throws and stuff. So I guess you can say that like the runner position has developed from Jeremiah Cool. Um, there's the art. It's pretty crazy eyes. <laughs> I mean, it's cool art, right? And uh, movement eight, edge one plus, same as Jordel, Blodge. Diving catch, it obviously isn't great, but block and dodge is great. Dump off. So yeah, this thrower, so like, you know, he's he's, gonna, he's basically a runner, right? Um, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> his, his, you know, his nickname was the Flashing Blade, and that's his special ability. He gets to stab once a game at the start of his activation. He may declare a stab special action against an opposition player he's marking. After performing the stab special action, he may then perform a move action before his activation ends. So it only lets you move, but it essentially gives you two blitzes. But one is a punch, then a move. But it's it's pretty cool, right? Like you could you could you know if he's marked by two players, you could blitz one marking him, and then he could stab to try and remove the other tackle zone before he you know he wouldn't have to dodge and stuff like this. It's a it's certainly a decent ability. Um, how useful it is on this particular player, I'm not certain. What's interesting is he's 320k, which is uh, pretty expensive. Elven Kingdoms, which is of course just the elf teams. Um, high elves, dark elves, pro elves, hood elves. Um, yeah, 320k with over 620 touchdowns and 91 fatalities. Well, I just don't see how he'll live up to that, unfortunately. Um, but we we do have his old rules. He was in Blood Bowl 2016 as a Golden Age star player, and he was 390. So you know, reducing that by 70k seems kind of realistic to for the new the new rules. And he's got block, dodge, diving, catch, dump, dump off, just the way they say there. He also has loner, of course, as a star player. He was also AV8, which is AV9 plus now. Interesting whether he'll keep that because, you know, he looks pretty lightly armoured, the model. Uh, but yeah, in addition, so according to this, in addition, he'd be getting kickoff return, which is pretty nice, right? Like, it helps you, you know, intercept and stuff with Edge 1 plus. Like, you can um, you can interfere with passes, maybe intercept them. Nerves of Steel obviously makes the intercept easier um, as well. Pass. You know, because he's a he's a he's a full he's a full passer, right? Joe Montana, that's that's the idea. And sidestep and block dodge sidestep is great. So, it's like it's he's in a weird spot. He's in a weird spot basically. A block dodge, edge one plus sidestep player is great. He's not getting a lot of value from pass, dump off, nerves of steel, diving catch, kickoff return. Not getting a lot of not getting a lot of value off that. But, I mean, 
it does all work together, right? Like, assuming you'll get, like, a 2 plus PA or, or a 1 plus PA, the only thing that really makes sense is, like, the best the best kind of quarterback of all time. Um, and, you know, if he does get blitzed, he can dump off on a 2 plus with pass with Nose of Steel. So, like, his dump off is actually incredible. Um, not like every other dump off where, you know, what well, if you're a Dark Elf run, it's a 3 plus. You're marked by at least one player, so it's at least a 4 plus. You know, like usually you're going to be marked by a player, right? Because they want an assist to, to blitz you. So it makes his dump off actually incredible. But is that something you want for 320k? Like, is Els, will you be down 320k? If you are down 320k, wouldn't you rather, like, you know, be getting Morg? <laughs> I know Morg's a little more expensive than that, but, like, you know, a wizard. Eldrill, there's like there's lots of other options for that kind of that kind of uh, gold value. So I'm not sure. It is interesting that he's a golden age star player that's come back. So maybe that's going to be something they'll be doing with other golden age star players. But um, I think it's I think it's kind of cool. Anyway, that, that's they were his stats. There's the model. Who knows with a better paint job, maybe that'll look better. I. I'm, I'm, you know, it sounds crazy, right, to say about the uh, the studio games workshop. Like, you know, they've got the obviously some of the best painters in the world, but they they sometimes seem to just you choose these like weird paint jobs that uh, I can't get behind. But I think the model's good, and yeah, who knows? Who knows if he'll? Who knows if he'll really be worth it? I mean, if he gets strength four, he becomes incredible. But I can't. He would have to lose a lot of other skills, right? Because then he just looks a lot better than Griff. So I think nobody should be hoping his strength for realistically. I think I think he's got all these other things, but they just you know, it's just ultimately the things that are most important are are the stats, right? Move, strength, edge. They're the big ones. So I think honestly I think Griff is kind of better than him for two eighty. Um, even though he's got all these skills and like the best dump off and the flashing blade and and all these other things and edge one plus, right? Even as as cool as that is, I, and you know he's got blodge, of course. Sidesteps great. He's got a lot of really good things going for him, but he's so expensive. Like he's so expensive. He's so expensive, and uh, yeah, I wonder if I wonder if he'll be too expensive. But there you go. Anyway, um, that's the that's the miniature reveal. He'll be he'll be available later in the year um, from Forge World Resin. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.